day 77 low on food low on battery low on storage space i start my day at 2 a.m trying to make it over two passes in 26 miles is my turn off and then i think it's another 12 miles to town and i don't have enough food battery or storage all right so let's go All morning, just ice fields. I've been losing the trail left and right. And I've probably been off trail for more than an hour. But I found footprints again. So, it's a good sign. Uh, sunrise is in effect. But as usual, there's something in my way. It's so beautiful, though. I've walked a long way and gotten absolutely nowhere. Ah, I feel like I'm almost there though, right? <laughs> Not even close. I'm lost yet again. I'm assuming the trail's gonna go to the right of that thing because it can't go to the left. Unless, of course, it goes up around the side of this mountain. But fuck it. Since I don't have a trail, I gotta make my own. new plan. Ah, oh, get some oxygen first. Oh yeah, there's two passes in front of me, one back to back. Um, so I'm gonna wait till early morning when it's frozen, do it, and hopefully I can tackle both before the heat of the day kicks in and melts it because I don't want a post hole. This, by the way, this is to protect me from mosquitoes. I'm all mosquito proof right now. There's not a whole lot where I'm at right now, but there's still annoying amounts. So, Bishop Pass is only 26 miles away, and then another 12 miles from there that doesn't count into Bishop. So I'm going to do my best to get that done by... I want to stroll into Bishop like the afternoon of the 12th. Today is the 10th, I believe. So I think I can do it. So I'm, just, I'm going to try to push for a big day tomorrow. Start early and go late. Go hard. Rawr. I decided to press on. There's a really great campsite right down there. It's about two miles from where my last campsite was, but it's filled with mosquitoes, so I'm just gonna grab water, go up the way, and see if I can find something up there. There's none listed on the map, but I'm not camping next to mosquitoes. At least the water's just moving nice and slow, but it is going to, oh, it is painfully cold. Oh yeah, it's gonna suck. Let's do it. All right, I think I made it to the top of the first pass because I have a new view. I think that means we made it to the top, right? Oh, there's another one dead ahead of me somewhere. I'm assuming through this valley right here to the left, but you never know with this trail. But I am getting pretty good at guessing. Okay, I see footprints way down there, so I'm just gonna make my way there because there's no fucking trail anymore. You just make it up as you go around here.
Okay, so my phone ran out of space, and I know, all I could do was a slideshow. Uh, a lot of that was coming up over what's called Bishop's Pass. Horrible way into Bishop, man. It was straight uphill for seven or eight miles through snow fields. There was even dead deer all over the place because they didn't make the journey. You know, they ended up falling to their deaths and were buried by snow. Somebody put a nice sign that says, Beware of Yeti. It was kind of cute. But I finally got a hitch in here, which wasn't easy. It took a few hours. Got in town, met a lot of other interesting people. You know, people really helped me out. But I was sitting down at the, what is it, Townhouse Motel. Um, I, I was just, I found outside outlets. Because that's my main thing was to get my phone straight, get all the videos out to YouTube, all that. So I just need power, you know. So, yeah, I plugged in. I went in. I told the guy, hey, man, I'm not planning on staying here, but I want to use your power for a while. And he was like, cool. You know, nice guy named Raj. And then, you know, hours later, he comes out and I'm still sitting down on that same bench. And he's like, are you waiting for somebody? I was like, ah, I wish I was, man. No, I'm just sitting here for the power. And he's like, so where are you sleeping tonight? And I, you know, I had found a nice bush down the way that somebody cleared out a spot behind it. And it was going to be a nice stealth spot. I don't mind sleeping on the ground. It's kind of what I do. But he was, he's like, man, no, I got a room over here. I'll help you out. Um, and it's an old, the maintenance guy's room. And it was trashed. Uh, but he let me stay there. I cleaned it up for him, you know, as, as a, you know, thank you. Um, and I should have everything all settled. You know, I mean, my phone should be clean after this. Push a button, purge it all, and then, you know, back out to the mountains. We'll try to get out there again. We'll see how it goes, man. But so far, everything's working out. Everything's working out great. Except for the walk back. I gotta walk back through Bishop Pass. I'm not even sure how to get there. And it was a hell of a journey. And now I'm gonna do it with like, you know, 30 more pounds on my back. Because it's 90-ish miles plus the 12 back to the next town, Mammoth Lake, I think it is. So, yeah, wish me luck.